Hello! Welcome back to Meta Perfume. I'm Emily and today I am going to cover what may be the coolest perfume ever. And it is Mitsuoko by Galon. Um, I have the EDT and the EDP and I'll speak to both of them. They are very very similar with just a little bit of difference. Uh, but first off these were created in 1919 by Jacques Galon in France. And this was at the end of uh, World War One, and the story behind these, I think, is kind of what makes them so cool on a level. They're based, uh, reportedly based on a character in a novel, Mitsuko, who fell in love with. Uh, oh, she was married to an officer in Japan, and she fell in love with, uh, I believe, a British officer. And then the Japanese Russo War began, and they both went away to fight. And she waited for to see who would return, if they would return. So that in itself is a pretty epic story to uh, have a perfume based on. The other thing is it's over a hundred years in continuous production. Um, it was worn by Charlie Chapman, Chaplin, sorry, uh, Anais Nin, Ingrid Bergman. Um, so this is a lot of pedigree. The first time I smelled it, I actually purchased the EDT. Uh, it's available right now on Fragrance Net for just over $20 with the, the tester, so without the cap, um, which is a great price. And I, I was researching and I was like, wow, this is a really cool perfume. Um, I sprayed it for the first time. I was like, I've smelled this. Yeah, I've smelled this. Um, so this is like a classic cipher. And I feel like what I thought of when I smelled it was, it reminds me of an antique shop <laughs> or like a, a home of a, a really old relative. So I must have smelled it at some point in in someone's home. Um, but I, I would imagine that most people have probably smelled this somewhere at some point in their lives. Uh, it's a very interesting fragrance. It's more uh, what people consider it woody, warm and spicy, earthy, a little bit citrusy and um, just a little bit floral yeah and the the oak moss uh the spices the peach and the uh, cinnamon and then the vetiver and bergamot are kind of the most prominent notes but uh, the top notes are in total bergamot and i'll put them up here uh, bergamot jasmine citruses and rose on top and then the middle notes are peach lilac and lang lang and somehow a little more Jasmine and Rose, apparently. Uh, base notes are oak moss, spices, amber, cinnamon, and vetiver, um, which makes it kind of a, an interesting, It's I would say it's this kind of a fall-like uh, fragrance because of the spiciness and the woodiness of it. Um, the EDT is uh, a little bit lighter and I'd say that the bergamot is more prominent in the EDT whereas with the EDP uh, it's a little bit heavier as you would imagine probably the uh, stronger concentration obviously with EDP but it also is a little warmer and so I'd say that amber is a little more noticeable in this whereas um, the bergamot and the EDT makes it maybe more appropriate for daytime and the EDP would be a better nighttime fit um, with that warmer amber note. So yeah. Um, so hmm. the longevity on this perfume is excellent. I would give this longevity score of 10 out of 10, meaning it can last on your skin for 10 hours plus. Um, the EDT is probably just slightly less longevity, as you would imagine with the, the lighter concentration um, than the EDP, but both of them have excellent longevity generally, and you would only need to put on a few sprays of these, I'd say three or four uh, max, to be able to carry the scent with you all day long. So excellent longevity, obviously probably a contributing factor to why it's been in production for over 100 years. Um, and the scent itself is just really, it's really, uh, interesting it's really kind of complex um, the oak moss yeah it makes it sort of a woody slightly masculine i'd say this this is probably a unisex fragrance nowadays although it was marketed towards women i think initially and still is considered to be a feminine fragrance i'd say it's definitely um, 
a unisex fragrance today and the the scent itself is just quite interesting it, it has a really um, wood forward kind of opening and then as it dries down it gets a little bit softer and the florals come out a little bit more but there's that peach note in there that kind of contrasts with the woodiness of it to make it um, just kind of more fascinating I think as a as a fragrance so yeah there there's another woman's uh, review that I read that I thought was really eloquent and beautiful and I will link that in the down bar below as well as a link to fragrance X where I purchased these two fragrances obviously this is a great deal for $20 a tester of this magnificent this will probably last me years and years um, and I do plan to wear this more in the fall when it gets cooler uh, the EDP it, on the fragrance X is about uh, $45 and um, yeah, the, the scent is just very similar, just a little bit warmer. So yeah, um, I'd say these are fantastic guirlands. And if you are looking for something interesting and vintage smelling, I guess you could say, uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So thanks everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and please subscribe if you haven't. Give it a like if you liked and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.